I'm uh, talking with uh, Attorney Quentin Rhodes, and Quentin, uh, a, a difficult verdict that occurred on Friday with uh, Art Wittick. Can you tell me uh, what uh, what was the reaction of you and your client when you heard that the jury came in 10 to 2 um, uh, for a conviction of the charges that were brought by Jonathan Modell? Well, we were surprised and disappointed. We thought the case had gone very, very well for us, and at no point on during the plaintiff's case in chief or ours did we feel like we were sort of behind. And, uh, you know, the witnesses kind of testified to what we expected them to, and when we were able to, like I say, put on the case that we wanted to put on, and it seemed to go very well, I know that um, there was more. There were more folks than us who were surprised by the outcome, and of course. We, we were disappointed with it, obviously. What happens with Mr. Wittick now? I, I know that the judge has several decisions to make as to how he's going to act. Well, um, you know, there were we, there were at least two jurors who weren't convinced by the plaintiff's case. So, and I'm not sure um, if 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 the judicial officer was as well, but he does have an obligation not to uh, to go forward with a penalty phase and. Um, you know, the jurors weren't asked to to determine the penalty. That's a court determination. And so he'll have an, an opportunity to, to review uh, the amount that's owed and to, there'll be a, a final judgment that's entered. And then there are some appellate questions that may need to be answered. There's not been a decision on whether to appeal or not. Uh, but there are quite a few procedural hurdles that have to be crossed before the final outcome is determined. Now, I, I know one of the most severe outcomes would be his removal from office. Is that something that you see as a possibility, or is that something that you can contest? Well, it's sort of a hypothetical right now because he's not he doesn't occupy an office. Uh, his term as a senator has expired. He's running for re-election, so if he's re-elected, then that's probably less hypothetical. But for the time being, um, you know, there's there's no office to be removed from, so that's not really an active concern at this point. All right. Now, what is what is Mr. Wittig's mood? How is he doing? Well, you know, he's disappointed. Um, he was proud of the case that we put on and was surprised by the outcome and is obviously disappointed. And he's taken some time. are if he even wants to appeal. Uh, I'm not sure that he's made a decision on that yet. Quentin, hang on just a minute. I'll be right back. Hold on. This is Peter. How can I help you? Hi, good morning. Jason Baker calling from Keller Williams Real Estate. Pardon the intrusion. Hey, listen, I, I can't talk to you right now. Thanks for calling. Oh, not a Okay, Quentin. Now, the, the, the other question I had for you was, um, will this decision embolden Mr. Modell to go after other conservatives, and uh, uh, basically will it cast a chilling effect on other candidates who may want to you know, run for office in Montana? Well, I think that's pretty clear that it will do that, and it has done, for example, um, there are conservative groups that can't get candidates to answer their surveys to see where they stand on the positions because the the candidates say, look, we're not going to get involved with answering surveys anymore because of this experience that's uh, recently be had with, been had with Mr. Wittick and those other groups that were, or those other individuals who've been called into question because they've answered surveys from Western Tradition Partnership. So, you know, it's a, it's a blow to that kind of um, exchange between constituents and people running for office. It's harder now to learn what their positions are. It's harder to get them to run because, obviously, if Mr. Wittick had realized in 2010, you know, the financial and other uh, consequences of running for office, he would never have run, and obviously he can blame him. So, you know, I guess there's there's good and bad with everything, but I can certainly say that there are people who might have otherwise considered to run for office as citizen legislators who now look at this and say, you know, why would I buy myself, why, why would I borrow this kind of trouble?